Rich Sack Canine coming to you with a uh, not so friendly, a little skittish, a little nervous, a little reactive, little female. Actually, it's not a little female at all. It's just a really good, uh, good size Malik. But uh, yeah, man. So notice her neck real quick, right? No equipment on this dog right now. No pinch collar, no e collar. Just using a slip that's clipped onto her flat collar, wrapped around once and clipped back to itself. On a, you guys will love flex. Uh, that's a whole different topic for a whole different day. If she was a flight risk, which she's not, she'd be in a long line. But for me out here right now, I enjoy using the flexi. But anyway, taking our time, a lot of walking, a lot of moving, a little bit of talking on me, emptying out my heart to her. But uh, this all makes sense in this. All right, back to our other conversation. We got two dogs here actually. We got a little Dutchy female and a Malik female. The Dutchy female we actually bred and sold to this client. They already had the Malik, but uh, the Malik's kind of a little nervous, a little neurotic dog. That's why you can't have a nice phone around Malinois and Dutchess. Anyway, these two dogs, right? This dog right here, this Malinois, she's a very reactive dog. Not fearful, a little bit nervous, a little bit neurotic, but not afraid of environmental things, but is very snappy with strangers. This Dutchy right here, she's none of that, but she can be very dog aggressive and her pushiness around other dogs. So it takes a special dog. Now these two are sisters, but because of that, two females, They've had some very serious dog fights, but they live together every day. How's it possible? Dogs live in the mall, man. Existential. Anyway, another example though. Hold on one second. Another example though of a beautiful dog, beautiful Malinois, highly trained, fully off leash, but you can't stop genetic behavior. You can't train it out. You can't make a nervous dog not nervous, a neurotic dog not neurotic. Neuroticness you can kind of deal with a little bit through training. But a lot of the genetically ingrained behaviors, it's not something you can change overnight with training, right? It's a lifetime. Excuse me, get off me. It's a lifetime of training, right? This dog has come leaps and bounds, man. She used to rock the back of her mom's car, trying to bite everybody that came by, everybody that moved. You name it, she tried to bite it. Chase after deer, be gone for days. We got all that for training. But that doesn't stop the nervous neurotic behavior. And then you got this little Dutchie right here, and us, who's can be too much. Um, awesome dog. But again, very pushy, right? People say, oh, I want a Dutch Shepherd. I want a Malinois. No, you don't. Why would you? They're a pain in the ass. Everything about them is a pain in the ass. You don't want these dogs. Nobody wants these dogs. <laughs> Gotta be a little crazy to get these dogs. All right, guys, the day continues. We keep training. And here we have another Mally. Boy. And here we have another Mally. Um, very skittish, uh, neurotic dog, a couple bites on her. And um, the bites are not out of aggression, right? The bites are out of fearful reactivity, fearful skittishness, things like this. But, uh, it's cold out here, right? Why is she paying? Oh, it's not. It's a combination of a little bit of everything. Now, I got to watch her. I got a little bit of back pressure on her right now. Now, she's on a pinch and an e-collar. I don't really like using them both at the same time, but this is how she came to us. And she's only been here a little tiny minute. So I'm just using the equipment that she's familiar with right now. Um, and we'll transfer that actually pretty quickly. So, again, what's some more of the story? Good girls. Okay. What's some more of the story, man? Our Malawas the best dogs as far as like super stable super solid super clear super awesome the best working dogs they're really not our, our, our high percentage of malinois skittish nervous neurotic timid all kinds of issues environmental stability mentally yeah they are do i love malinois of course buy and sell a lot of them um you got to really know what you're doing if you don't you'll get all the drive you want high drive dogs to a neurotic level, but you'll combine all kinds of mental issues with it. And that's why so many trainers like myself are stock full of these dogs. I have at any one time, three to four mile of training. I feel like here recently, I mean, it's just, it's a lot. It's always been a lot, but recently it's definitely an uptick. Yep, yep. And when you look at the dogs, they look great, right? They look like amazing mile of walls. They, I mean, they're, they're mile of But when you actually get into it, man, they have a lot of issues. You gotta peel back that onion far. Um, it's tough. I had a really well-respected person the other day who I respect tremendously at a very high level tell me something, and it really hit home. And um, he said, Aaron, you can literally work on aggression, dominance, possessiveness. We can work on and train all these issues, but you can never, ever, ever fix instability. Remember that. All right, guys. So if you get a little... Your tongue went in my mouth. It's disgusting. 
if, if, if you get a little itch to go out here and rescue a dog and buy a dog and get you a dog, go to the pound, go to the rescue, and get you a little a little hunter, man. This little dog is about 30 pounds. She's got energy. She could be your running partner. She could be your jogging partner. She's safe, solid, stable. She just needed training, right? She had zero recall. She actually run, run away. My little escape artist. That's my little girl. But uh, go get you one of these dogs. Do not go out there and buy a Malinois or, you know, some other kind of crazy working dog that is going to do nothing but bring you problems. And uh, you're better off to leave those for people that really have time to commit, time to do it all. And um, give these little dogs right here a good home, man. They're they're waiting for you. They're looking for you. Hey, look at the camera. Hey, hey, hey. Man, she's gone. She's gone. No, she's not. She's actually sitting right here. Sitting right here waiting for me to tell her something to go do. Let's go explore. Come on. Nighttime hunt. Let's go. Find something to kill. I'm just kidding. Killing days are over. But uh, these little dogs are a lot of fun, man. And there's kennels and rescues full of them. Very ever. They never have mental issues. They never have instability issues. Very rarely are they nuisance or like neurotic behaviors. Um, they just need basic training. That's what it is. Sounds crazy coming from a Malawad Dutch Shepherd guy, right? But it's the truth. Anyway, Ridgeside K9, keeping it real.